Guilty on all counts. That's the verdict handed down just moments ago in the case of a Bay Area man who used a sword to behead the mother of his young daughter. Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Z. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. The jury took less than a day to arrive at its verdict in the case of Jose Rafael Landetta. That's right. ABC 7 News I-Team reporter Dan Noyes has been following the story, and he joins us now with the details. Dan, Dan and Kristen, it was just uh, gruesome. The 34-year-old defendant goes by Rafa Solano. The jury ruling today that he killed the mother of his child. In our jailhouse interview months ago, Solano claimed he killed Karina Castro in self-defense, that she had threatened him over social media. September of last year on a San Carlos street outside her apartment, Solano used a samurai sword and slashed repeatedly at the mother of his child, badly cutting her arm and then hitting her neck several times. Several witnesses saw what happened. Solano initially got away, but then came back to the scene to turn himself in. For half the court session last Monday, Solano spoke in his defense, saying he had no memory of that day, even though he told me something quite different. He denied killing Karina Castro and even claimed to not recognize her photo, the woman with whom he had a child. He later went silent on the stand and in the following days refused to come to court. Rafa Solano has been found guilty of first degree murder and an additional allegation of using a sword in the slaying. That could bring additional time in prison as upcoming sentencing hearing. Now after the verdict, Castro's family and friends loudly reacted and began to sob understandably. Yeah. Dan, this is Kristen. as horrifying as crimes can yeah, be. Hopefully this chapter, you know, is over. Right. The family can get some solace. We'll see what the sentencing brings.